all right everybody what is up ads play 101 here and welcome to the review of the dragon ball project multi uh play test game um dragon ball project multi is a moba that uh I had a play test running from August 19th at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to September 2nd. And um, I've been playing it since it since the servers opened up. So being somebody that has played it as often as I did and as much as I could have, I figure it's only right that I give my opinions about the the play test you know what some things that they can approve on some things i feel like i would like to see them get rid of that they probably won't um some things i feel like they're going to keep and just give my opinion on some changes that i think would be would be cool um for the game now as of right now this game has no release date this is like literally like the first play test and i only found this play test by chance because i was looking up something else and i just so happened to you know find out that it was being that the servers were open up opening up for the playtest on the day that i found it so i've literally been playing this game since it, since the servers opened up so so basically here are my thoughts so in dragon ball project multi this is a moba somewhat similar to like a league of legends a pokemon unite honor of kings etc smite paragon you know those type of games and it's a free-to-play game or at least i believe it's going to be uh, or at least the playtest was free and uh you have three different roles you can play you know there's only two lanes in the game there's upper lane and lower lane and different characters work better in different lanes um so you have the attack role which i believe was trunks trunks goku and android 18 uh then you have the defense role which Vegeta, Cooler, and I'm trying to think who else. Vegeta, Cooler, and was Gohan in there? I think Gohan was in there as a as a tank. No, Gohan was in there as a support. So then they have the the technical role, which is basically like this the marksman slash healer role. Basically, the, the support role is the technical role, and Krillin um gohan oh another tank was a uh, zamasu i can't forget him I, I mained him basically for the majority of the uh for the play test and uh in a technical role you had majin boo um krillin and and you had gohan and along with those characters you have helpers that allow you to basically give you boosts at or they assist you during the during the match you can summon them uh during the match and they'll either give you an attack boost a defense boost a speed boost or they'll attack or push uh the enemy team away from you so i believe if i can remember all if i can remember them all there was an attack booster i can't remember his name but he was like a cat guy i believe he he worked at the registration on snake way um i don't remember his name um there's the baby dragon that gohan had i believe he was in the cooler movies he was the speed booster they had bubbles you know like the little monkey that was training with goku on uh king kai's planet when he first went on snake way uh there's the farmer with the shotgun who when you summon him he basically shoots his shotgun and does damage to the enemy team that's in that in that area of effect there's kaba um the sand from universe six i believe correct me if i'm wrong um but he gives the the team that's a the teammates that's you and your teammates uh uh boost on your defense and um i'm trying to think there's botamo 
who was basically the big Winnie the Pooh looking dude from, I believe, Universe 6. Like, he was from the same universe, I believe, as Kaba. And um, when the enemy team is in his area of effect, he basically, like, does a belly bump and pushes them away from you. And I think there was a couple others that you can unlock during the during the playtest, but you needed special capsules to access those and it was only if you can unlock them there was tapion there was general uh ty um i believe that was the big smelly guy if, if, if you remember the first world tournament from dragon ball it was the big smelly guy who went against krillin i can't remember his name but he was in there he was available and it was several others i don't want to get too long with it but you can summon these helpers and they assist you during the fight and they can give you boosts or they can attack and help your team out. Um, along with that, during the match, there are several objective uh, characters that show up that help um, that help your team out. So the objective of the of the match is to basically have um, to basically build up a presence by defeating monsters and things like that that way you can build up your Zeno gauge and Zeno depending on who builds up that which team builds up their gauge faster he will run to the turret which are the gods of destruction and he will basically hit them with a hammer to basically weaken them so that you can attack them and eventually defeat them and then you can move on to the next one eventually leading into their final zone which is the where the dragon ball is held you break that and then you win the game so it's a pretty simple uh game as far as what, what the playtest showed uh what the playtest had available it was pretty fun for the most part but there were some negatives that i, I want to get into first and foremost when the playtest first started uh me and a friend of mine tried to play the game together and the the friend requests feature didn't work they had to do a hot fix for it and by that time he was already didn't care about the game no more so i didn't really get a chance to play with any friends um so i was kind of by myself so that sucked but they did fix it and hopefully when i'm pretty sure they're gonna have another play test for it it'll already be you know it, it will no longer be an issue and people can just enjoy the game together um the shop level feature this is something that i don't like personally but i do think they're going to keep it uh because obviously you know what i'm only going off of other mobas from pokemon unite smite smite 2 uh honor honor of kings league of legends uh, I believe I said Pokemon Unite, but any MOBA, it seems to be that the model is to make the MOBA free to play and then just nickel and dime, nickel and dime the, the players for features that they want or unlocking characters or costumes or emos or whatever the case may be. So I can only assume that this is going to be a free to play game as well. Uh, however, in the game when you go to purchase certain characters your shop level has to be at a certain level meaning that you have to be at a certain meaning that you have to spend a certain amount of in-game currency or the hero coins that they provided in the playtest they, they gave it to they gave them to us um you have to spend a certain amount of hero coins in zenny in order to increase your shop level eventually leading up to, leading up to a shop level up and then that'll gain you access to buy the other and that'll make the other characters uh available to buy so the game starts you off in the playtest at least it, it starts you off with krillin goku and i believe zamasu no 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 zamasu he was a a trial character when the, when it first came out so they only made krillin and goku actually available at least for me it did because I, I believe they gave you a, a choice as to who you wanted to like with goku he was already unlocked and then they gave you a choice of, of a free unlock for the level one you know for, for the level one shop level 
um, which is Android 18, Krillin, and um, I think Zamasu. I, I chose to pick Zamasu, so I, I unlocked him. Uh, but the shop level feature, I don't really like it because I, I, me personally, I think it's stupid, but with it being a free to play game, uh, which, which again, I can only assume that they're going to do that. They, they're going to have to make their money somehow. So that's going to encourage people to, to buy or pretty much spend money. So I think that's something they're going to keep. But personally, I don't like it. I think it's dumb. Um, but it is what it is. I don't think that's going anywhere. Uh, secondly, and I'm kind of disappointed. They had a battle pass in this game. When we were in like the second week of the game, they gave people a thousand gems. Now, the gems are like the that's like the real world money basically um you, you couldn't buy any gems in the playtest they didn't allow you to but they gave you a thousand during the second week of the playtest and it what it was intended for was for you to unlock the premium battle pass uh the premium battle pass rewards which gave you extra gems extra uh capsules to use to either unlock skins emotes or other helpers um, and stupid me, I used it to unlock other characters that I actually wanted to play. So I, I unlocked Cooler and I just enjoyed playing the game for the remainder, the remaining time that I did. Um, so now going back to the characters in different roles. Now, every character plays different, you know, in, they have their own individual moves and uh, skill sets, but they share a common trait. So with the attackers. Um, they're basic attacks. You can just hold down the basic attack button and they, and they can just continuously attack and they can, they can just continuously attack nonstop with the tanks, uh, the defenders, they have their basic attacks have a recharge time so they can attack nonstop. They can attack for like two seconds and then it, then the basic attack has to recharge in order for you to get a, a consistent amount of attack of uh, basic attacks out so and with the technical ones or, or the supporters they their basic attacks um are basically fire and blast from a distance so their basic attacks are the ranged uh are ranged attacks and so that's like the common the commonality between every character that you know depending on the role that they're in um then there's there was two different modes available that had the main rule which again involves you know going into the match depending uh picking whether you want to be top lane or bottom lane uh basically be building up your Zeno gauge defeating the enemy teams gods of destructions leading into capturing their dragon ball and winning the game but in they had another mode called the land grab uh mode which is a point system the first person to reach 500 points wins now unfortunately i was i was not able to play this role because nobody really wanted to play it which leads into my next point this game may need some bots you know I, in in certain games they have a bot presence just in case there's like not enough players they'll put some bots in place of those those missing uh human players in order to in order so that a person can play the game um this was a kind of a headache because in the battle pass that they provided in order to get some of the rewards, you had to play a land grab battle or a certain number of land grab battles or do certain things during a land grab battle. And considering that you couldn't get a land grab battle going, you know, nobody was playing it. Everybody was just playing the main rule uh, matches. Um, safe to say, I, I, I don't know anybody that played it that got it. So if you were one of those people, hey, you know, congratulations. But I, I wasn't able to play the land grab, so I can't really give my my opinions on it. Um, but considering that that one runs on a point system, I'm, I'm willing to bet that there are certain characters that favor 
a land grab battle over the the main uh rule battles so that'll be something that you know i guess we'll have to wait to the the next play test or something like that um and speaking on the you know the match rules you know you have the main rule and you have the land grabs i'm pretty sure that they're going to make like a, a kind of like a capture the dragon ball rule um for a match i, I think it's kind of obvious it's too much of a like i don't i don't see them not doing that you know you and your team fighting for possession of the dragon ball whoever collects all seven wins um i'm pretty sure that's going to be a thing um th that'd be a mode that i would like to see um as far as characters i would like to see in this game i mean i'm pretty sure they're going to put all the characters you want to see like jiren dispo uh i'm pretty sure they're gonna put Tapu in the game uh the wolf brothers from universe what six four i don't remember uh you guys know who i'm talking about i can't think of the of the names right off the top of my head the guys that gohan fault um gohan boo and uh goku fought um I would like to see the other Namekians in the game. I would like to see, since Cooler was in the game, I'm pretty sure that they're going to have Metal Cooler in the game. Frieza, obviously, is going to be in there. Um, I, I low-key see Zarbon and the Ginyu Force. They're going to be in there. Uh, you know, it, it's any character you can think, I'm pretty sure they're going to put in the game, in the MOBA. Like, that's going to be a gimme. Uh, I'm trying to think what else in this game like w when the game first started obviously what, since I'm familiar with like MOBAs and things like that I was winning like non-stop if, if, if the servers were you know acting right because they're pretty much shutting the servers down right now as I speak because um, I can't even get the game to open up anymore but I was winning pretty consistently when I started running into trouble or when I started running into trouble uh, with matches as far as losing and everything like that. Now, I'm not saying that if I do everything I'm supposed to and our team does everything that they're supposed to, that doesn't mean we're not going to lose. Um, you know, because there's objective characters. Again, there's Nappa, there's Jocko, there's Ribian, there's Android 16, and then there's Kid Goku as a great eight from Dragon Ball. Who, which is basically like the Rayquaza or the kind of like the Baron Nasher, you know, you win, you, you, you defeat that guy. You basically in a position to win the game, basically, but they have, uh, people when it comes to games like this who get a kick out of trolling and not helping the team. Now, obviously, you know, it's certain people that, you know, their internet connection may not be good. They may have some AFKs off of that. But I ran into an unreasonable number of AFKs during this play test. And I know all of those just wasn't disconnects. I, I refuse to believe that every last single one of those was disconnects. I, I remember my second time playing this game. No, I take that back. It was in day three when I was playing it and I ran into at least five to six AFKs and those videos are up. You guys will see them. It was pretty, pretty bad. And that's when I started, you know, getting losses and things like that, or teammates weren't helping with the team fights. Mind you, it's only two lanes. It's four on four. So this game more so focuses on teamwork probably than any other MOBA because you're literally at the mercy of your teammate helping you otherwise this can turn into like a two-on-one situation and nobody I mean, there's no chance for you to win because it, it's you know you're outnumbered um with that being said though i also would like to see a jungle role in this game like a mid lane like or like a roaming type of role uh you know during the different roles they during the different roles they had attack they had defense and they had technical i would like to see like a speed roll in this game 
like a speed roll or like an assassin roll. Characters like Birder from the Ginyu Force um, and, and other characters that were known for their speed. I'm not talking about, you know, like the Z Fighters and things like that. I'm talking about characters that were literally known for how fast they are. Maybe Ariel. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, I already said uh, Birder from the Ginyu Force. Um, and there's a few others I can't think I can't think of another map idea because the map was only in one obviously you only have one map I would like to see a map with all the shadow dragons from Dragon Ball GT on there I think that'd be dope you know uh, I would like to see that um, I would also like to see a map with maybe all of the Kai's I think that'd be that'd be cool. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, like as far as map ideas, I think that'd be dope. Uh, but this game also because of the AFKs getting back to that without getting too sidetracked, I think this game may need a block feature, a block feature that actually works. Because when I say that, you know taking pokemon unite for an example you can block somebody in that game and they'll still randomly put you like if you're in a solo queue it's a chance they might still team you up with the person that you block when in essence a block means that you're not going to team up with that person anymore but they probably still force them and i hope they it's better than that but they this game need a block feature because like i mentioned earlier there's a demographic um of people that love trolling in games like this it's in every MOBA it's it's unavoidable but you can control it and I hope that they put a feature in this game that allows you to control it such as a block feature um, that way you can team up with those you, you can you know avoid teaming up with people like that because uh, the last thing you want in a game like this is to ruin the experience dealing with the same stuff that every other MOBA you know has to deal with you know like you want to come out the gate with a solution for that or uh an option on how to deal with that um yeah other other than that i mean i guess i'd say like i hope they don't release this game at no time during 2024 maybe late 2025 at best but i would like for them to take their time to really build this game into something uh i don't like the thought of this game trying to compete with i mean because it's not going to be able to compete with uh with a uh, sp uh sparkling zero that's going to be like the number one dragon ball game for a time and if they release this at any time when that game comes out then they're basically asking it to fail because they're not nobody's going to want to play anything else you know people have been waiting for another tenkaichi dragon ball z game for the longest and we finally have it and the last thing we want to have to deal with is this game coming out at the at a time you know when sparkling zero like you don't want to com com put this up against a game that you know is going to do good you know whether or not it be because people are actual fans of dragon ball z or people just want to like ride the wave because of kiro Tur a kira toriyama's passing because you know they got some people that's going to buy it just for that like let's just be honest you know they want to be a part of the i'm buying this game because this is possibly the last game that akira toriyama was looking forward to you know just without i don't want to get too deep into that but it's going to be people that's going to this game that game is going to sell well and the last thing you want to do is put this up against that so i hope they take their time add, add add the necessary features to it maybe take some features out and during the next play test we can see how much they improved and you know maybe i'll give you a different opinion as of right now the game is just okay it's kind of bare bones um it still has a lot of work i like the potential of the game because i mean it's a dragon ball z moba like it's a dragon ball z moba like we can only 
hope that they improve it from here so we'll see but that's my opinion about the game i mean if i would give it like a a score i would say it's like a a four out of ten right now i mean it's a play test you know it like it can't really be any higher than that so i mean but, but we can only wait and see what they do with it so as of right now that's my opinion on a dragon ball project multi uh play test um you know we'll see what happens with the game in the future but until next time thank you guys for listening to me and uh i'll see you guys later mm-hmm.